next guest is a talented young woman with a very popular show, Season Do of Emily in Paris, premieres December 22nd on Netflix. Please welcome Lily Collins. <laughs> Also got married. It's like a I newlywed did. show. Here. I noticed that. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Where did you get married? Um, at a place called Dunton Hot Springs in Colorado. I've been to that place. You yeah. have? I have. Yes. Yeah. It's a great God. place. Yeah. Isn't it beautiful? It's it like is. An old abandoned ghost town, mining town, made into a hotel. Nothing more romantic than a, a ghost town to get married in. Yeah. You know? Yeah, it's like, hey, everybody left. I want to go there. Exactly. Yeah. You know, you feel the spirit, the new, the old. It's great. Was your family there, the whole group? Yes. My family, Charlie's family. You know, we hadn't actually ever been there until the day before, so that was really fun, too. Oh, yeah, never been there. Oh, well, that's that's a fun way to do it. Oh, so even you didn't get to see the wedding set up at all. I was part of the wedding set up. I, I mean, see. it was raining, and I was like, we were gathering tables, and oh, it really? was fun. Yeah, wow. it was really do it Very yourself. Very down to earth. The stars really are just like us. <laughs> and you really hit the jackpot as far as in-laws go because their husbands, uh, you tell me if I have any of this wrong, Mary Steenburgen and Malcolm McDowell are your, your in-laws. Yes. And Ted Danson is married to Mary Steenburgen. Yes. Who's like the greatest guy in the whole world. <laughs> I noticed him backstage in a photo. Yes, we have yeah, photos. You, that yeah. We paper the walls with pictures of him. <laughs> and did they all give speeches? Because they're like actors and wonderful and all of that the, stuff. Uh, yeah, I had my parents make speeches. Mm -hmm. And uh, Charlie, yeah, we all, everyone made speeches. Everyone and probably knows your dad's Phil Collins, <laughs> which covers the band. You don't have to hire a band, right? Well, actually, the really cool thing, so my younger brother, I have two younger brothers. One of them, Nicholas, is 20, and he's now officially Genesis's drummer. I heard that. Um, I yeah, heard that. it's wild. Um, have you been to the show? Yeah, I just was at Madison Square Garden with Charlie, and it was Genesis. And then my 20-year-old brother playing with these legends, and it's, I remember at two years old, Nicholas would drum away, you know, learning how to play, holding his sticks, and I was so annoyed because he'd wake me up every morning at the sum during summers. I'd be like, shut up, it's so noisy, and then he play now, your dad's drum set? No, he had like a little tiny thing, and he'd just be like, you know, I, however you play drums, I don't know. I, I'm not a drummer, um, clearly. Uh, and, and it would just be so noisy. And now I was brought to tears because I'm just watching him going like, Oh, that's very daddy. sweet. Yeah. And then watching your dad, who hadn't been I on, know. they're on a reunion tour now, they're right? On a re yeah, they're almost done, I think, with the US. Had you seen him in a huge venue like that in a, a long time? My dad? Yeah. Um, I think about three years ago, he did his solo tour and Nicholas was drumming with him starting at 16, which is just wild. That's crazy. Um, but yeah, it had been a minute. It was it was really fun, and I was I was sitting next to Nicholas's girlfriend. Do you think your crazy. dad pays him as much as the other guys, like, <laughs> like Tony Banks? I know he gets a per diem because he, he did does? mention that. Okay, which, you he gets know. an envelope with uh, like seventy five dollars in it. Yeah. <laughs> For room service or whatever. Yeah. You know, I'm kind of obsessed with your father. What's your favorite of your dad's songs? Well, I, so I'm going to go to Genesis, but I really love I Can't Dance. Really? I remember as that a kid, one, huh? like, all of them, like, dance. Yeah, the, the video is funny to yeah. that. His videos were funny. I'm sure that made some kind of an impression on you. You know what's funny is I remember when I was younger asking my dad one day, saying, did you ever have, did you ever do music videos? Really? He was like... What? And my older brother was like, are you kidding me? And then he gave me the box set of video cassettes, and he's like, here you go. They were... <laughs> and then I was like, oh, you were funny. Like, there was like <laughs> puppets and the whole thing. I was like, oh, that's funny. Yeah, well, yeah, the puppets even became like a TV, like a, a yeah. primetime television they show. Creepy. They were creepy. That was from the Land of Confusion video. Yeah. Go ahead, ask me anything. I know I everything. I mean, my God, yes. <laughs> it's very impressive. <laughs> Did you go on a honeymoon? We did, we did. So the, the deal was that I would plan the wedding mm -hmm. <clears throat> and then Charlie would plan the honeymoon. So oh. knowing how much I love the cold, which I don't, we went, um, we went on like a, an Arctic circle. Really? Swedish Lapland, um, edge of the world, Scandinavian food tour. And it was amazing, but it was <laughs> freezing. Were you mad when, you, <laughs> when he told you what the plan was? Were you no, angry? No, I was, no. 
because it was so beautiful and, and well thought out. I definitely was like not so cool on the fact that it was like one suitcase, like 17 flights and lots of cold weather. Yeah. But um, no, it was Do you think perfect. you made a mistake with Charlie? <laughs> Never. No, it was, no. Do, do people watch no. Emily in Paris everywhere you go all over to these various countries? Because I know it's like, I know it's very popular here, but it's also so popular all over the you world, right? You know where right? it's weirdly popular is on airplanes in the sky, every flight attendant recently has knelt down during the flight and said, I'm so, do, do you want anything to drink? I'm just, I just have to ask, um, is there a season two? And I'm like about to go to sleep, and it's like always like a flight attendant. It's so funny. Um, yeah, no. Why do you think that is? I don't. I don't know. Maybe they're binging it in the back. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Hopefully, though, if the pilot says something, you know, you yeah, get yeah. off that plane. Yeah, that that's true. Um, no, it's been wonderful. Filming again in Paris for season two was amazing. It, we were so embraced in the city. When Ashley and I go out, we're kind of like um, Mindy and Emily in that we're very loud. Loud and, Americans? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Even with our masks on, we're like <laughs> And people are like, oh my God, are you Mindy and Emily? And it, it was very jarring because we experienced season one coming out in COVID. So we weren't outside at all. Oh, right. And, right? right. So it's like we no one really had time to interact with us or we didn't know if it was hitting well with audiences. And so we went to back to Paris we just found that we had to be more like quiet because we couldn't go anywhere without talking and like amping each other up. Yeah, wow, how about that? It was well, fun though. Yeah, well, congratulations Thank on all you. your success. It's great to see you. Thank you. Tell your whole family I said hello. I will, I will. Lily Collins, everybody, season two of Emily in Paris, December 22nd on Netflix. We'll be back with Isaiah, Rashad, and SZA. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel. If you want to see all our latest videos, click the subscribe button. And if you don't, click anyway and close your eyes when they come on.